Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at The Forest running on the i5 1135G7. Now the game is currently running at 720p at the ultra low preset, so we are running this at the lowest possible settings that the game will run at. And we're getting some pretty decent FPS here. Now those 1% lows are kind of rough, but it tends to only really happen when you are loading into another area, as in while you're roaming around, you know, new things need to start popping in, and sometimes you'll find some stutter there. But for the most part, once things are loaded in, the averages are pretty decent. Now, the game doesn't look amazing, for sure. There were a lot of sacrifices that had to be made to get this level of performance. But it is there if you want to go for this kind of thing. Unfortunately, there's not really a lot more you can really do to improve things past this, just because there's no FSR. We're already running at a very low resolution. A lot of things have already just been turned down. Not really much headroom here, so this if this is something that you can't handle, because I know there are some people that are very sensitive to FPS, specifically 1% lows, you know, because those micro stutters can actually cause certain people to get nauseous. But if you're not one of those people, then you're going to have a decent enough experience here. I mean, this is perfectly fine for me. I honestly had a blast playing this, you know? So really, I had no issues playing this at these settings. It was great performance. It was super fun to play. But I can understand if you're someone that, you know, does not prefer to have their graphics settings so low and you're willing to sacrifice some FPS. Now, if you're curious how the game actually performs in 1080p, here you can see what the performance is like, and it is not great. Those 1% lows are very brutal, and those averages are also very, very painful. And uh, I mean, at this point, you're just getting the worst of both worlds. You are getting the terrible visuals of having everything set to low, and then, of course, you get the terrible FPS that comes with 1080p at this, you know, settings. So really, you're just getting an overall bad experience with 1080p. I would just completely avoid this. You would just have to be the most dedicated person to 1080p to really justify playing like this. Now, 720p, though, well, at 720p, we can maybe try adjusting some settings if you care more about visuals than actual FPS. Now here you can see it running at the absolute highest preset that they have, which is the high preset, and uh, everything is turned up to the max. And the performance is, well, it's in the 30 FPS. You know, you're getting 1% lows of 12. Not exactly the best gaming experience here, but it is relatively consistent for the most part. You know, you are going to have some fluctuation here and there, obviously, because we are pushing this thing to its absolute limit. And I'm only doing it like this just because I want to show you what the most extreme would look like. You know, obviously you can mess with settings. You already saw what the lowest setting is like and what the highest one is. There's headroom here. I, if you want to like adjust things to your liking, it's there. But just know that if you set everything to ultra, or I guess high, but it's pretty much like the ultra settings. This is the level of performance that you're going to get. How do I feel about it? Eh, not my cup of tea. I don't really like playing games like this. I would rather have more FPS in a game like this than uh, the better visuals. But I can understand if you're the kind of person that just cares more about the visual experience. Especially if you're someone that grew up playing games, you know, normally at 30 FPS. Like, well, why would you, you know, want to move away from that? You could just stick with that, get better visuals, have a good time. If that's, you know, what you're into. Personally, at this point in my life, I like the most amount of FPS possible. Why not just get, you know, the smoothest gaming experience possible? As long as visually it doesn't make everything look repulsive. I'm usually pretty okay with the absolute lowest settings, really. I mean, most games look pretty fine with the absolute low lowest settings. There are certain things that you can adjust to actually get better visuals without really taking much of a actual performance hit. You know, I normally don't show that just because it's one of those things where you got to like tailor it to what you want your experience to be. I want to just show you the baseline presets where you can, you know, start off from where anyone can look at those numbers and like compare them. And then from there, you can adjust them yourself to your liking. So that's why I do the testing the way that I do so that you can at least have a baseline understanding of how these things will run. And then if you want to adjust it to your liking, you're obviously free to do so, but at least you understand that, hey, at the absolute lowest settings, this is how it's going to run. And at the absolute highest settings, this is how it's going to run. So from there, you can actually like make the judgment call on 
how much of that headroom you actually want to sacrifice. Now, if you've played this game before, you know that also there are these underground sections that you can go to. This is uh, pretty much inspired off of the movie The Descent, which is one of my favorite horror movies out there. It's fantastic. You should definitely take a look at that movie. It's great. But uh, in these sections, you can expect the performance to actually improve for both 1080p and 720p, whether it's at the ultra low settings or the high preset. The performance is just going to be better because you're in caves. Things are going to be rendered a lot less, you know, since like these big open landscapes are no longer, you know, being rendered out. It's just cave walls and all that. It's uh, a lot less demanding on the system for sure. And you are going to get a little bit better performance here. It's not going to be like groundbreaking improvements though so don't expect this to just suddenly make it an ultra playable super smooth experience but it does for the most part perform a little bit better than just being on the surface you know it really depends though because as you're roaming around things will start to load in and there will be certain areas where there's like a lot of objects and stuff like that and that will sometimes just affect performance but for the most part it's about comparable to the surface really you know like there will be moments where the fps will be higher there'll be other moments where it will be lower for the most part it's relatively similar with the occasional improvement just because there is less things that need to be rendered but with that guys i hope you found this video useful let me know what you think about it and if you did find it useful be sure to subscribe i really appreciate that guys as always, let me know what games you would like to see tested. Now, obviously, I can't test everything because I don't own every game out there, you know, like uh, I would love to. I would love to be able to test every single game that you guys suggest. But, you know, I can only go with what I currently have or can get my hands on easily without, you know, breaking any laws, <laughs> you know. So for the most part, I am kind of limited in what I can show you guys, but as always, keep suggesting things. I pick up new games all the time to test. And I do pretty much just try to find whatever service that I can to get these games so that I can test them for you guys. Currently, I have a, a good list of games that you guys have suggested and I'm kind of working my way through them right now. So if you suggested something and I you know, haven't covered it yet, don't necessarily think I'm never gonna do it. Sometimes it just takes me a little while to get to those games. Other times I just don't have them and I got to wait for a Steam sale or something to actually like buy them. So I hope you can understand that. And if you would like to support the channel and make things a little easier for me to get games, then obviously use those affiliate links down below. But anyways, I appreciate you guys.